Marty, we're into the, the third game in the, in the space of three weeks. Obviously, a, a disappointing result in midweek. How have you worked with the group since then? Well, definitely we had a regular game evaluation where we tried to yeah, point the things that we might improve, the things that we uh, need to keep doing in order to get the results that we, win, that we need. And yeah, it's not so much time that we can spend on the training pitch because uh, it's the third game in a week, it's about recovering, but definitely working with the players who are available in the pitch to make sure that, that we prepare the game in the best conditions. Then uh, tomorrow will be a good game preparation and then towards Leeds. How frustrating have you found it? Because certainly earlier in the season, there were elements that were pleasing and, and very close matters. And obviously we had the, the great result at Luton. And you look at the Sheffield United coming back from 2-0 down to, to draw 2-2 two, two, and a lot of positive results. But in recent weeks, it's obviously been frustrating in terms of the results. How, how have you found that? Yeah, it's always um, difficult when you go through a period as, as we are going right now. But I think it's very important to to keep the belief on what we are doing, to make sure that we work harder every day until it works. We've been talking a lot with the players about the mental part of it because we know that usually there is a connection between confidence and results. So the more it takes to, to, to get that win that we really need, uh, obviously the confidence gets affected, but we need to, to understand what are the basics, what are the main things that, that are important to get our performances right. And from there, uh, keep working because we, we believe that, that we can get the results that we want. As, as you've said, you have regular meetings with the players individually, in groups, as a, an entire group. What's the, the feeling from the players at this moment? There's a frustration, especially because we came from a good performance, I would say, not the best result, but a good performance against Sunderland. And that was a little bit the reference. We felt that the team was growing, uh, that we pick a an important point away, clean sheet, the first of the season against Burnley, that it was the second clean sheet in a row against Sunderland, that we felt that we got uh, a lot of things right in place against Sunderland and then definitely was very disappointing, especially I would say the first 35 minutes against against Middlesbrough were very disappointing. We look we look flat, we didn't have the expression that we wanted and then I felt it was a kind of reaction uh, the 10 minutes before the half time where the team try, where the team create three good chances. But sometimes that's how it is. The, the opposition needs two shots on goal to, to score two goals. And then when you get the chances, you are not scoring because the keeper makes a fantastic save or whatever it is. We just need to be to be better than this. And we know it was disappointing, but we need to move on quick, learn from this one and, and make sure that we prepare a very challenging game against Leeds because they're one of the top teams in the league. When you look at the points that QPR have picked up this season, we've picked up five points against the three relegated teams. It does seem that we seem to get better results against the teams that we're less fancied against, certainly from the outside. Is that something that you recognise or, or can pinpoint? I mean, it's a fact uh, so far, but um, as well, I know that every game is different. I know that every position is different and I know that it's going to be a, a big challenge. And the situation where we are to play away against Leeds is not easy, but I'm a big believer as well that we can that we can win this game, that we can go for it. And that's the mindset that we should have. If we are not believing in ourselves, who will? And I, in that sense, I'm, I have a lot of trust in the players. We need to make sure that we do the right things, uh, that we understand what are the key parts of our performance that can give us this stability that we need and from there grow into the game because we know that Leeds has a lot of talented players, that they have attacking quality, that they are a team that they are considering not many chances against. So they have been very dominant so far. Uh, yesterday they played against Millwall, they lost a game that probably they create three, four chances during nil-nil that, that yeah, Millwall was good enough to not concede. And then uh, that's, that's the kind of a scenario that we know it can happen as well for us. So we need to make sure that we, we believe and that we got a fresh reference that even though Leeds is a fantastic team, we can beat them as well. At home, Leeds have won four in a row following defeat to Burnley earlier in the season. Is this where, where personality and character is as important as the ability of the players? Yeah, in every, in every game where we are right now, this character, this personality is very important. And of course, to face all this adversity, we cannot, we cannot just be uh, thinking about, about it all the time. But it's a fact that we have 10 injured players, which is extremely high amount of players. And yeah, we need just to face this adversity in a way that, that, that we accept that's the reality. And feeling sorry for ourselves will not help us to get the points. So we just need to go for it and, and believe in ourselves. 
There's no team in the country who wouldn't be impacted by that amount of injuries. How are you dealing with that in terms of that adversity and that challenge? I try to not uh, spend more time than, than what it needs to be. I'm, I feel very sad for the guys that we are missing because they are the first ones that really want to help the team, that really want to play football. It's the worst thing of being a footballer when you're injured. And of course, they are desperate to contribute and to help the team. But the reality is that uh, if they are not available, we need to, to support and to believe in the guys who are available. And, and that's where my job is, to prepare them in the best way that I can. And just on that, Ilya's chair obviously came off in midweek. How is he? Yeah, he was not he was not very good after the game. He had a lot of pain in the in the knee. And today we went through some from some tests. And yeah, I think that we will know more during the evening about the, the length of the injury. But yeah, it looks like there is some some uh, knee affection there. And uh, we know that Kali Dembele is out for several weeks as well. In terms of the the injured group. Who is closest to returning? Obviously, we know Liam Morrison is back and available. Yeah, I would say that perhaps uh, we need to, to make some, some last tests with uh, Ashby. Um, let's see how it works tomorrow for him. Uh, we know that Ken Powell, uh, Morgan Fox and Mitchy Frey on the last, the last part of his recovery, their recovery. And we'll see if they, if they manage to be available for the next game or, or after the international break. OK, and just finally, more than 1,300 QPR fans are, are heading up to Leeds outside of QPR, there is people who would expect it to be a, a win for Leeds United, but certainly those 1,300 QPR fans are, are travelling up in hope and to, to support the team. How key are they? I appreciate the effort, as always, and being yeah, very honest, we really want to give them something. and Hopefully this will be the game that, that we can give them back all this support.